Hi, this is Robbie with Tickner Photography. I was looking out on my patio this morning and I saw my stevia plant is starting to flower. It has a really tiny flower, but it's white and it's pretty. So I'm going to use my 100mm macro lens at pretty much one to one and try and take some pictures. But because it's so small and at one to one, even at say f13 or so, the depth of field is microscopic. So I'm going to do a technique called focus stacking where you um, focus first on the closest point and then you move your focus slowly back until you basically covered the range you want in focus and then you can merge that together in Photoshop. So I'll show you how to do that. First I'm going to need to get some strobes so I can even get to F13. So I'm going to bring my studio strobe Alien BB800 and stick it from above with beauty dish on it and I'm going to put a speed light probably right here at really low power just to give it a little bit of backlight, and I might give it a squirt of water just to liven it up. So let me go get all my flashes. Alright, so I have a few flashes in place. It'll be backlit by a speed light right over there on the chair. Beauty dish is above me at three quarters power. Now I'm going to attempt to frame this, and then I'll give it a squirt of water, and then we'll stack it. Manual focus, manual exposure. Okay, so I just give the, gave the flower a little bit of a squirt. As soon as it stops wobbling, we'll reframe. A little bit of a breeze just picked up. Before there was nothing, it was perfectly calm. So I have to wait a second for this to settle down. Okay, I think we're pretty good. Now I'm going to start stacking focus. Usually photograph my hand just so I know where the break point is where the stack begins. All right, so now we have our focus stack. I took 14 images, so let's go put them together in Photoshop and see what we get. Okay, so now into Lightroom, you can see this was the covered shot. So after that begins our stacked images. And in the first one, the only focus point is right at the front, and then focus will slowly move further back through the image, and it should end right at the end of these flowers. So there's a bunch of images. There's slight movement. Unfortunately, a little breeze picked up right in the middle of all of these shots. So hopefully, Photoshop will be able to align these properly as long as the flower came back into the proper position after it was moved by the wind. Let's get all of these into Photoshop. So you select all of these images, edit, open as layers in Photoshop. So now we're in Photoshop with all these images imported into the same document as layers. So we select all of the layers, going to say auto align layers, and hopefully it's able to figure this out. It'll probably take a little while also just because there's a lot of images Usually you might not need to do 14, but at macro 1 to 1 resolution, depth of field is extremely shallow, so it does require quite a few shots. Alright, <clears throat> so we just auto-aligned all of our layers, and it seemed to figure it out properly. Nothing looks overly crazy over here. So our next step is auto-blend layers, stacked images. So let's run this, and we'll see how well it's able to put all these together. You'll notice after the auto align, you can see where it jiggled everything around on the edges. That will be fine since we're stacking. It'll only choose one of them, and it'll push, it'll remerge all of these back together, or blend them with a layer mask. So you won't even notice that stuff. And here we are, our stacked image. And let's start zooming in. We'll go one to one. And we have great focus from the back of the flower all the way to the front into it. This is one-to-one -one macro, one-to-one -to -one pixel magnification from the sensor. So, it's pretty cool. You can kind of see our beauty dish reflection in some of the water droplets. But that looks pretty good. 
you can see how it stacked the images, which particular piece of each image it decided to use, each piece that was sharp. So it's pretty remarkable how easy this technique is to do. So now you'll notice that some of the things shifted around the edges. All those squares are gone because it only chose one to do the outside, but still um, some of the there was some shift, so we'll have to crop this down just a little bit to get rid of the edges. And something like that. And there we go. There's our stevia flower, one-to-one -one macro magnification with some depth of field done via focus stacking. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.